Hey, Dylan, just to speak to just being able to get that response after giving up those three on the top of the fifth and just uh, being able to get back on top. Yeah, I mean, um, we had a good good plan going into this game. I think we scored every inning except one, maybe. Um, but I mean, we I mean, we're hitting the ball this weekend. I think we did really well. Um, I don't think it was really a, a response. We just kept doing what we were doing all game, um, hitting hittable pitches. So. Okay, we'll go next to Eric. You know, what is it about the offense that kind of allows you guys to be so consistent? Coach Tadlock talked about it yesterday where, yeah, you can hit home runs, but this is a patient team that can also do it in multiple ways. So from your eyes, what is it about this offense? Well, if you're talking about consistency, I think you would be mentioning how we hit consistently because I don't think it's the same lineup any day. Um, but he, I mean, he does well with, with managing the team. He puts guys where they need to be and um, every guy that goes out there tries to do their job. And um, we, we found the bat this weekend um, a lot better than past weekend with OSU. I think we didn't hit the ball as good as we could have, but I mean, we're, we're trying to have good ABs every all nine, trying to have good ABs and just grind at bad top. Go to Phil. Dylan, another home run for Braxton today. Uh, what have you seen from him this season, I guess, and, and how hard behind the scenes does he work to, to become a better hitter? Yeah, he's a very hard worker um, in class, off the field, on the field, in the cages. Um, he's a grinder. And since I've been here, he's just progressively gotten better hitting uh, behind the plate. He's, I mean, he's a beast back there. I wouldn't ever try to run on him, but to keep testing him. But um, yeah, I mean, he's been he's been grinding it out in the cages. Uh, he's done a lot better. I can see he's been working on the inside fastball, and it's starting to pay out. So, go back to Carlos. Dylan, certainly, baseball players know they're going to have their ups and downs. You hadn't had an RBI in your last seven. So, what was it like just to be able to know that you were contributing to the team in another in another way today in terms of scoring, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, I'm not too worried about um, about the numbers uh, as long as I'm getting on and contributing in some way. Um, even if I go for four that day, got to make a play on defense. But I mean, I mean, every day I'm trying to do the same thing, trying to help my team in any way I can. Um, some days I'm not able to do what I'm capable of, and some days I do. So, I mean, I'm in the one spot. I'm not supposed to be driving in a, a whole lot. I'm supposed to be crossing the plate. So. Um, but I'm just, I mean, I'm doing what I can to, to try to help my team out, so. Carlos, did you have a follow-up? Yeah, just one more. I know you talked about the defensive plays. Can you speak to what Drew's been able to do the last several? It seems like almost every time he kind of makes a fantastic play, whether it's, you know, diving or jumping or whatever else. Yeah, I just think he could get better reads and stop running into walls. No, he's uh he's making really good plays out there. He uh make an adjustment from left to right. Um I mean that ball uh in the last inning kind of carried on him uh from a right hander. So but uh he, he's doing well out there. He's he's made a huge improvement, making really big plays. So Hey coach, just in terms of uh the offense, obviously what's rolling there, just kind of scratching across runs, but can you just speak to Dylan being able to provide that that RBI? As he said, he's not necessarily kind of expected to provide RBIs, just get on base and cross the home plate, but just for him to be able to give you that go ahead run today, how big was that? Um, you're talking about the ball he hit over the third baseman, shortstop. Yeah, yeah, in the ball. fifth inning. Yeah, I mean he uh he did lead off the game, hit a ball pretty hard, and guy made a great play on him. And it's just the way baseball is sometimes. You know, you hit a ball hard and you get out, and sometimes you hit a ball on the tape and finds a hole. And uh, it was good to see. And I mean, anytime he's getting on base, it's going to cause some problems for people. We'll go to Phil. When Drew is out there diving after foul balls and running into walls and all that kind of stuff, is that the kind of thing that can invigorate the team, get guys going to play as hard as he is? 
he almost caught the ball. It was in foul territory, by the way. And um, it definitely can carry over. I mean, he's definitely a guy that's going to do everything he can to to uh, make a play. Um, you know, he's a guy, high school shortstop, converted to outfield, very athletic, uh, can really run, can throw. And so, absolutely, I mean, when a guy can um, kind of own the area he's in, it definitely helps everybody else as far as on the field. We'll go to Eric. Coach, obviously offenses can, you know, put up big numbers in, in a single inning, but how nice is it or impressive is it to see an offense that for those first six innings just kept putting up at least a run every single time? Yeah, it definitely helps. The guys were having competitive at bats. Uh, came up with some hits when we needed it, stole some bases. Um, you know, I think one of the big ones was uh, was 3-1. I think Baker's still second base with two outs, and Jace finds a hole. And, uh, you know, I think out here right down the line, hit a little ball that, you know, just landed uh, between the right fielder and the second baseman. And, um, yeah, manufacturing runs can be good. We'll go to Bishop. Hey, Coach. Hey, Coach. Can you just speak on the uh, bullpen's performance today? You know, they didn't allow any earned runs. They played pretty well. What have they been stressing in practice that's led to that that type of success? Uh, strike one, those secondary pitch for strikes. Um, thought Andrew came in and really, um, you know, and executed pitches. Thought they did a good job of uh, hitting with men in scoring position. Uh, I think he came out, and I think at the end of that inning, it was 4-4. Four, four, and, uh, you know, and sublet through the ball well, um, as did Hampton. Okay, we'll go back to Eric. So just in case we don't get you again this week, um, obviously going back into Big 12 play after this, uh, what kind of challenge does Kansas State present? Yeah. Um, going to Manhattan's always interesting. Uh, and just going north of here, you really never know what you're going to get as far as weather goes, first of all. Um, so, you know, you're hoping that, you know, you get a clean day to play three days in a row and, and kind of go into the deal planning on not, you know, having some type of, uh, weather deal and, um, you know, they got a kid that's uh, probably projected to go in the first 20 picks of the draft. Um, I think he's out of, I don't know if he's out of Arkansas, Northwest Arkansas or Northeast Oklahoma. Um, but I tell you, he's left-handed. He's got a really good arm. Uh, been around the league three years now. Uh, I got another kid that's probably projected to go in the first couple rounds uh, that pitches day two. I uh, got some older guys at the back end or in the bullpen. Um, seems like there's a few guys on their team that's uh, have been there a long time. And uh, as I guess that's every college baseball team. And um, I mean, our league's always it's a pitching rich league and you always to go on the road. It's uh, you got to be prepared and uh, play good baseball to win games. Hey, we'll go back to Carlos. Along those lines, Coach, uh, Pete Hughes and his team have certainly got some big wins, so they kind of know how to prepare for some for some high competition as well, getting some wins over Rice and Gonzaga. I guess, uh, what, what have you kind of seen from them this year that's allowed them to kind of put, put some put some wins together so far? Oh, again, I think they've got, they've got two or three really, really good arms. Uh, I mean, guys that got a chance to maybe pitch in the big leagues, and so that's where it starts. And uh, haven't watched them a whole lot as far as like anything yet, as far as uh, as far as their offense and things of that nature. Um, not a whole lot, just highlights. And so, um, and they do a good job fundamentally. And uh, it'll be it'll be a challenge to go up there. 